welcome to Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon X. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we did the first Looker chapter. That man is a real Looker. Thank you guys. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate all your comments. Thank you very much. You know, thanks for agreeing with me in that suggestion. Today we're going to begin the second chapter here. And as you can see, I ran like a little bit north because that triggers the sequence. Rodri, it is I, Looker. I want to talk to you about something important. Could you come to the Looker Bureau, please? So that's pretty simple. That's how you activate Chapter 2. Just run a little bit into the North Boulevard, and I'm sure it'll activate. Now, I think this is going to be a little different of a mission. The last one, if you guys remember, we ran around, collected a bunch of tickets. Now, this one, I heard it's going to be a little bit more battling. I count on your help, Rodri. Let us put our partnership to the test. My notes are on the desk. Take 30 seconds to read up on the case. Okay, so I'm going to barely briefly do this because I've already kind of you know gotten some information so there's some kids in Lumio City that are doing really shady stuff in some back alleys and some mothers were complaining or something so they've given Looker the task of going and searching for them and that's what we're gonna be doing today so we're beginning chapter 2 in the back alleys yeah I see I see how excited everyone is to begin this chapter let's see if Looker has anything else to tell us all right up and all ready to go, good. The first thing I want you to do is visit those dark alleys in Lumio City. Find where the kids are hanging out and get the lowdown on the situation. Got it? Yeah, we can definitely handle it. Okay, so the kids are gonna be located somewhere in Lumio City. It looks like they're gonna be in the South Boulevard. So let's go ahead and see if we can find these guys then. I've actually explored around a little bit beforehand, so I kinda know where I'm going, and I'm not too worried about this. I know that we have a little battling coming up, and I think we'll be looking quite good. So let's make our way to the south mu no not in here okay what nope not i'm not trying to eat some sushi right now i'm trying to finish the looker missions okay we need to make our way to the southern boulevard if my character okay that is not the wrong not the right place i'm just gonna go out here if we make our way to the street I i'm sure i'll be able to find my way to the freaking southern boulevard and the alleys if you guys are looking for them they're a little hard to find, I must say that, because I looked for them before even starting, you know, right now, the Looker chapter, and uh, they were kind of tough to find. They're like little, little tiny crevices in, in the walls, so if you're, you know, trying to do this with me right now, be careful. You might pass them accidentally because they're like tiny. It's like that. Those are, those are the crevices, but let's go to the South Boulevard then and see if we can find the one that I'm talking about. All right, keep an eye out, guys. Keep an eye out for it. Uh, is this one one of them? No, that's not it. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to trying to keep an eye out on these because they're going to pass us before we even know it. No. All right, it's got to be coming up near here, right? There's got to be one near here. If not, I'll check the other wall. Uh, anything? Any crazy looking... No, no dark alleys over here either? Where the heck am I? Where is this dark alley I'm looking for? It should be somewhere around here. Nope. All right, let's turn around and check the other wall then. It's, it's going to take a little bit to find these... But once we do, we'll be looking good, guys. Okay, so maybe it's on the right side then. Watch it. Watch it have been on the other side. Oh, my gosh. It's probably going to have been on the other side, and I'm totally just dodging it. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye out. Uh, this looks kind of like a dark alley. No, not exactly. Not exactly. Wait, did I just see something? Oh, my gosh. I hate looking for these dark alleys. All right, guys. This might take a little bit, so I'm going to come back uh, once I've actually found it because I really have no idea where it is. This doesn't look like a dark alley. All right, guys. I'll be back when I figure out where it is. I say that, and I think I found it. It's this one right here. So it only took us like two seconds. And, whoa, there's a lot of kids here. I think we're going to have to battle them. So let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, with that we defeated the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up a little bit. I'm thinking I'm gonna put uh, our main man Fox up in front though. You know, he hasn't gotten any action in a little bit. And we're gonna move on to the second battle. Here we go. Easy does it. Let's keep it going into the third one. Kicking some little kids butts here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Hmm. 
Easy peasy. All right, we have one battle left. Let's go ahead and whoop this kid really quick. Now go back to school, kids. Stop running around in these alleys. Stop causing trouble. Pardon, pardon, it took a while to find you. How's the investigation going, Rodri? Do you have news to report? <coughs> oh, did you hear that cry? I feel like it came from deeper inside the alley. Why, it's a Pokemon. But to threaten humans like that, it is apparently none too gentle. It may consider this area its territory. Yep, old man, you got that right. Uh, who's there? Show yourself. Oh, nobody special, but this little sweetie right here is Mimi. That's what I named it anyway. Um, then this is your Pokemon. In which case, you wouldn't mind returning it to its Pokeball for a bit. Um, what Pokeball? Pardon? I'm not a trainer. Mimi is my friend. I have no money to buy Pokeballs, so I can't be a trainer, you get it? Oh, anyway, Mimi and I don't need a Pokeball to be friends. Of course, I get it. Please forgive my error. My name is Luca. I work as a detective. May I introduce you to my partner, Rodri? If you will permit me to ask Mimi's friend, I'm interested in what you're all doing here. Well, we're all playing. That's all everybody here is friend of mine. What are you asking for? Do you want to join or something? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it. This is our secret base. Kids only. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Something's going on here. I have no idea. These kids are playing. They're doing something crazy. Apparently, they were just back here in the alley playing some games, playing some video games. You know what I'm saying? I like to do that once in a while, too. Uh, but I guess they're all just trying to have fun. So there's not too much trouble going on back here. I think we're good. Ah, right, look, I have struck upon an idea. A genius idea, and here it is. Friend of Mimi, I invite you to stay at my office, the Looker Bureau. You may work as my assistant in exchange you may live in the office. I myself live elsewhere in a hotel, so you'll have it all to yourself after hours. It's not to imply that anything's wrong with a free life in the alleys, but to have a home to shelter you from the cold and the rain, there is joy in having working to do each day and your efforts seen and appreciated. This idea is genius, even for me. And Mimi, are you on board too? It wouldn't be the same without you. Ah! Well, why didn't Mimi run off? Mimi gets scared pretty easy, afraid of humans, I guess, especially grown-ups. Hey, Mr. Looker Guy, for a minute I was kind of happy that you invited me to stay with you. You're pretty cool, but I can't. Mimi likes it better here. I can't leave him behind. We stick together. Okay, guys, so now this is the next part where I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go look for Mimi. Indeed, Rodri. Your assignment is to befriend Mimi. You can do it. Now, if you guys remember the back alley I showed you guys in the beginning. Kids, out of my way, out of my way. Important things going on here. Uh, it was in the north one. And who, who, dude, I just left. You can't tell me this when I'm back there. Come on, looker. Well, drivers seem to tip from the children. I judge it's the most important may be of use to you. Mimi apparently doesn't like being petted by strangers. It is imperative that you check the alleys where Mimi is known to stroll around. To be precise, across from the Galette stand. Across from Lumio Station. Right next to Cafe Triste. Alright, so let's make our way to Cafe Triste. If you guys know, Triste actually means, means sad in Spanish. I don't know what it means in French, but I'm guessing it means something similar to it. Now, let's make our way to the North Boulevard, then, in search of Mimi. Poor little Mimi, so afraid. You know, you got that creeper looker trying to get her to move into a place with him. I don't know, looker. You know, you're kind of sketching me out a little bit, my man. I, I thought you were kind of cool back in Sinnoh, but I don't know what you're doing these days. You know, we still have, like, four more looker chapters to go. Maybe he'll turn things around a little bit. All right, keep Keep your eyes out for the alley. There's an alley right here. Could this be it? I don't know. I'm going to head inside then. There's like, a, a, I think there's a couple different alleys. And there it is. <laughs> Mimi's looking at you. What are you going to do? Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going a, I'm to a dance. Yeah. It likes the dancing. <laughs> all right. So if you want to be friend of Mimi, dance. That's, that's all you got to do, guys. Oh, Rodri, well done. Mimi seems to have taken a shine to you. Awesome, Rodri. Are you wicked or what? How'd you get Mimi to like you so fast? You know, I just... I just danced. Thank you, Rodri. You have proven your worth as my partner. Well, friend of Mimi, problem solved. All set? It's time for you to graduate from life on streets and join to look your bear as my assistant. Okay, I'm ready, as long as Mimi's with me. I'm pretty curious to find out what a detective does. Ha <laughs> ha, a detective is a hard kind of person. Rodri, let us make our way to the look your bear with our new assistant. Wow, so this is the look here, Bureau. It's sure warmer than the alley. This is going to be great, huh, Mimi? Please make yourself comfortable. From today on, you will work here as my assistant, and you may live here as long as you choose. I seem to have forgotten my manners. Pardon me for not asking your name. What do you prefer to go by, or shall we stick with friend Mimi? Oh, who me? I'm just Emma. Nice to meet you. 
Am I that indeed a pretty name? Um, the case of the kids in the alleys is now closed. With them staying here instead of kids, we'll stop making the alleys their second home. Rodriel will send a message on your holocaust the next time we get a case. I look forward to it indeed. Alright guys, with that we have finished the case of in the back alleys. And he's having another one of these moments. Am I and Mimi? I was absolutely right to invite them to stay here. Truly genius, no doubt. What I don't know is if enough work will appear to keep food on our table. I guess I'll roll up my sleeves and concentrate on my mission. This is what it means to be a hard-boiled detective. It's a rough life, ladies and gentlemen. Alright guys, so uh, with that, we're done for today. Finishing off the second chapter. If you guys have any tips on what's coming up on the next one, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.